Oh, let's get into our mountain pose for our warm-ups and just be a gentle practice today. Spread your toes, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core. Put those ribs in and up so that you're supporting your spine. Shoulders relax back and down. Take a moment, breathing, focus inward. <clears throat> And then inhale, arms to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front and clasp your hands behind you. Press the hands toward the floor just gently as you lift your heart. Stretch your head back. Don't lift your chin too high. Pivot over at your hips. Just let the back get a good stretch. <clears throat> Move your chin around. Let the neck release a little bit. Bend your knees and wind your way all the way back up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, stretch your head back, spread your toes, and don't forget to breathe. So nice back bend in your upper body. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, feeling your body, all the circulation. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front and clasp your hands the opposite way that I do. Press the hands down toward the floor and lift the heart up toward the ceiling. Pivot on over and relax. So head toward your legs, hands toward the ceiling. Take a breath or two. Lift the sitting bones, stretch your legs, and wind your way back up. Again, a nice upper body back bend, lifting your heart. Take a moment, stretch the spine. Inhale, upright, release your arms. <clears throat> Take a moment, feeling all that circulation in one of you a little bit. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Clasp your up hands and bring your elbows by your ears. Take a moment and breathe. Let it stretch. Start on your side, lean to the side, no twist. So make sure that you're not leaning forward with your shoulder. Take a moment to push your foot down that you're leaning away from. Get that extra opening through the side. And then inhale back up, switch the other hand to the front, and again, pull the arms by your ears. Take a moment and stretch and lean. And again, just ribs apart, foot pressing down, hands reaching away. Take a breath or two, chest relaxing. And then inhale back upright and release. And again, feel your shoulders, your sides, everything going on after that lateral motion to your spine. And we'll twist it. So bring the spine apart and get ready for our twist. Arms out, palms to the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Press your elbows, arms by your ears. Sitting bones down, stretch the head up and turn as you exhale. Take a breath in and in the twist, pivot over. Keep the weight on both feet evenly as much as you can. Just relax, deepen as far as you'd like to go. <clears throat> and then with the weight still on both feet evenly, work your way up in the twist and lift your heart. Upper body back bend, just stretching those elbows back. Take a few moments and breathe. And then inhale upright, <clears throat> exhale to the center and switch your arms. And again, lengthen your spine, twist to the other side. Take a breath, exhale over. Just relax, lift your sitting bones. Deepen into that position as much as you like. And then stay in the twist, come on back up. And again, upper body back bend, only lifting your heart. Switch those elbows back, shoulders down, and chest up. And inhale upright, exhale back to the center, extend your mountain. Fingertips toward the ceiling. Shoulders down, away from your ears. 
Take a moment, feel those feet supporting you evenly. Swan dive. So bring your chest forward, arms at shoulder level, pivot to the front, and then drop in your abdominal. Just hang. Take a moment there, or pull in deeper, hands behind your legs. Relax, tuck in your chin, and then bring the arms back to the center and another wind up from the bottom of the spine, coming back into the mountain pose. So we work the spine, just feel all that circulation through it. And let's do our balance warm up practice just to make sure that we're balanced today. So lift your toes, get the ball of the foot heel evenly supporting that foot. Row roots, get rooted, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lining up. Keep the core active, supporting your spine. Shoulders back and down, prayer to the ceiling. When you're ready, bring the other foot up a little or more or up toward your chest. And again, hold around the shin or the thigh and just pull it in. Make sure that foot doesn't cross over. Check your balance and when you're good, circle your ankle. Both ways. Keeping it flexible. And then flexing point as you put the foot back down, shifting the weight to the other foot. So again, lift the toes, no gripping. If you grip with the toes, you lose much of that contact. You want the whole bottom of your foot secure. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up for active shoulders relaxed. And bring the other foot up. And again, as far as it wants to come up, on this leg, and when you're steady, go ahead and look at that ankle. Flexing point when you're ready to release. And as always, just take a moment, feel that steadiness as you're back on both feet. Take a moment and breathe as you bring your hands to your heart, and look at them as you bring them toward the ceiling. A little back bend, lifting your heart, Exhale, pivot on forward. Bring your hands down into ragdoll. Take a moment there, breathing. Stretch everything out. In that prayer, stretch. So hands under your knees, pressing into your shins gently. Elbows straight, knees straight, and spine straight. Don't push the chin forward. Keep looking down at the floor. Stretch the back of your neck. Lengthen the spine. Shoulder blades towards your waist, stretching it. And then exhale back down, right dog. Knees straight, spine straight, arms at shoulder level, stretching those fingertips out, pivot all the way up. And as you get to the top, shift those arms, make sure they're shoulder level, put your thumbs inside your palms, fingers just gently around. Turn one fist down and one fist down, and then reverse it. So you're pushing out through the hands, right at shoulder level, up through the crown, keep the core active, keep the shoulders away from your ears, and just rotate the fist one up and one down, working across, coming up to the elbows, and then the shoulders. And then really involve the shoulders, really moving the shoulders with that neat motion of your arm. Getting a nice little massage across the shoulders. And pushing out through the hands, just relaxing through the shoulders, just the arms. And then just the lower arms, just the fists. And then Clench those fists really tight and push out. Up through the crown, down with your shoulders, push it out. And then release your National Geographic flower petal fingers, just slowly reaching them out. Stretching the fingers as you get all the way out, pushing the hands, the palms out, and then shake it all out. Feel the shoulders, upper arms, and a little bit more worked this morning. And then let's stretch up as we turn side to side, giving a little more twist to the spine. All of the hands from one side and down to the other. Just relax. 
And coming back to the center of that stroke and swing, working the shoulder in one more time. So let it circle all the way around, coming in close to your ear as it comes up with your land. And then both arms up, stretch it out, clasp your palms together and out. So the fingers are clasped, the palms are reaching up toward the ceiling, the heels of the palms getting stretched. Keep the shoulders down, shoulder blades towards your waist, core active, supporting your belly, and again like that. Bring the arms out to the front, pushing out through the wrists. Move to one side, back to the center, over to the other side. Back to the center and up toward the ceiling. Switch the hands so the other fingers on the outside, and again, push the palms up. And I'm going to move it to the side, back to the center, over to the other side, back to the center, and to the front, and release. Take a moment there, feeling your shoulders a little more active. Take a breath and bring your hands to your heart. Inhale to the ceiling with those fingers, looking at your thumbs, come into your back there. Swan dog forward, chest leaning down, dropping into red dog. Another halfway up stretch, lengthen your spine, bend your knees, and come to the floor. So transition to child's pose, hips back to your heels. Forehead toward the floor, hands, palms up at your sides. Take a breath. Just relax. Feel the stretch on the back of your body through your neck. Back to the chin in. And then inhaling, sit up. Bring your legs to the front, coming into staff positions. Press out through your heels. Pull the toes back. Hit those sitting bones comfortably behind you or a little padding if you need to for that pelvic tilt will warm up the hips a little. So bring one foot to your opposite leg on the thigh or near the knee or wherever it goes. Let the knee come down toward the floor. Just feeling that hip bunny relax. If that's feeling really tight today, remember you can bring the leg over to the side. It makes it a little bit more pelvic opening. So go as far as you want. You can add weight with your hand, but don't press. No pressure. Pressure makes it tighter. We don't want tight. We want relax. So just breathe into it. Exhale any tightness. Let it go. And then put a knee into your hands or pull your arms around and pull the leg in and rotate back and forth. Feel that outside of your hip getting a little bit more warmed up. If it feels good there, you can stay there. If you want it more, you can lift it higher or closer, and that makes it a little more intense if you like that. Keep the spine straight, keep the core supporting your low back. And then release that leg back into staff position and feel the difference. This is going to be a little warmer, a little bit more activated. So, yeah, we got to balance with the other leg coming up. So foot up to onto the thigh somewhere, and the knee coming in. Again, just let it go. Bring the leg over if that's helpful for you, or add a little weight with your hands, but don't press. Still, the spine is straight, the core is supporting and breathing. Like a moment there, just relaxing. Tension out. Exhaling, letting that knee come as far as it wants. Just releasing it, not forcing it. And again, picking your foot in the knee up or pulling it in. Move it back and forth for that hip rotator outside of your hip, warming up. Just give it a little bit more warm and lubricated. Make it more intense if you love it or not. And then again, really into step. Take a moment as you get back there and move. And let's bring the feet into butterflies. So bottoms of the feet together, knees out toward the sides. 
Just dropping toward the floor as much as they want. Exhaling, relaxing. And then pulling the heels in close as much as you can. You can put a little weight on the knees with your arms or your hands, but don't press. And then after a few moments of breathing and relaxing, bring those hands right under your shoulders. Press them down gently. And as you do, lift your heart. You feel that full inner area of the hips and abdominals shift a little bit, letting those knees maybe come a little bit further down. Take a breath there. Just relax it. Never overwork it. Breathe. And then bring the hands back to the center. Just relax. We're going to tuck the chin into the little throat center indentation while we're in butterfly. Let the back of the neck stretch. Take a breath or two, just relaxing, chin down toward the throat. And then hands one at a time to the back of your head. Again, no pressure, just a little extra weight for that neck stretch. So just relax the legs, relax the chin, relax the neck, let everything go. And then releasing the hands, tip your chin back up, and lift it slightly toward the ceiling, move the jaw around. So stretch the throat, mark the jaw, circle it around, push it forward and back, whatever feels good for you in your face. And then release back to normal. Take a moment and breathe, exhaling tension, feeling those legs just relaxing even further toward the floor whenever they're ready to do it. Tip an ear over toward one shoulder, keep both shoulders down. And we'll stretch that opposite shoulder. And then bring one hand up the one you're tipping toward, adding weight, not pressure. Just letting that ear come over toward the side a little bit more. Take a breath, just relaxing. You can stay there, or you can bring the hand next to your hip and press it down for a little extra stretch through that shoulder and neck area on the side. Exhale, just relax. And then both hands down and the head tips up. Again, just get comfortable. Stretch the spine. Exhale, ear over toward the opposite side. And again, just relax there. Breathe with it. With the chin, just slightly push out and up toward the side. And again, as that ear comes toward the shoulder, bring that hand up and add weight, not pressure. Exhale, feel the stretch, let it relax. If you love it, you can bring the other hand next to your hip. And again, just gently pressing, letting those legs relax, letting the neck release, the shoulder get a good stretch. Exhale, relax. And then again, releasing the hands, tip the head back upright. Feel the sides a little bit more activated. And then lifting the knees, bring the legs back out into stack position. Take a breath, exhaling and relaxing. And let's get up on our hands and knees. So hands and knees just briefly. Knees under your hips, toes straight back. Slide your forearms to the floor, hands in front of you. And then take your right hand behind your left elbow and slide the left hand forward. Stretch that shoulder apart. And then exhale, bring your forehead down toward the forearm or floor in front of you. Bring that shoulder and armpit down a little bit. And just get a good stretch through the arm and shoulder. The fingers are planted on that left hand. The hips are sinking back toward your heels. You just feel that whole shoulder area and get a good stretch. And then on an inhalation, lift your head, bring your elbow back and your upper hand back so we can balance and stretch the other arm. The hand behind the elbow, hips sinking back, hands sliding forward, just let the shoulders sink, and the forehead come down toward your arm or the floor. 
Again, just relax. Exhale any tension. Feel that shoulder. Let it sink. Palm is planted. Arm is stretching. Hips going back. Just feel that full side lengthening. And then head coming up on an inhalation. Elbows back into place. And slide the hands under your shoulders. We're going to do our twist from this position. So get that core activated. Stretch your spine apart. Take your left hand. Put it between your right hand and knee. And bring your head and shoulder down to the floor. Not your neck. And just stay in this twist as level one, if that's enough twist for your back today. If something's slightly up on the side you're training for. If you love it, you can bring your foot out next to your hand. So your right foot next to your left hand. Head and shoulder are on the floor. Take a breath. You can keep that hand down, or you can bring it right up toward the ceiling above your shoulder. And roll your head toward the back a little bit as you lower the, lower the arm toward the floor behind you, palm up toward the ceiling. But don't go too far, it gets balancing. So just breathe and relax. Stretch the heel and the hand away if you're fully extended. Or you can still be in that first version, perfectly good twist as well. Take a breath. Just relax. Feel the heart. Nice and open. And then if your hand is up, bring it down. If your leg is up, bring it in and unthread your needle. So of course, we're going to do that to the other side. So same thing, starting in table position, activated through the spine with it lengthening. Bring the hand through, palm it up toward the ceiling, head and shoulder down through the floor. When you get all the way down, hips stay up. And just stay there in the twist with that hip moving as far as it wants up toward the ceiling. Take a breath, relax it. If you like it and you want more the lower back work, and bring that foot next to the right hand. So right hand is coming through, the left foot goes near it. Take a breath, stay there. If that's enough, stay on your head, not your neck and your shoulder. Or bring your hand up toward the ceiling and look at it. And then just rolling slightly onto the back of your head from that position. Let that hand come behind you, opening the heart a little bit more. Take a breath. Just relax. Maximize pushing out through the heel and the hand if you love it. But just be gentle if you've got enough already. Take a breath. Just relax. And of course, we need to relax completely. So bring the hand to the floor if it's up, and your leg back in, and threading the needle, and coming back into table. You can come into child pose for our relaxation today. Just relaxing deep with your hips toward your heels, and your heels toward your and your head toward the floor. Or you can come into corpse position where it's easier for me to talk. So bring your hands, palms up near your side. Take a breath. Exhale any tension, whichever position you're in. And just let your body soften and sink deep and move into that connection beneath you. Deep breaths in. Exhale, letting the tension go. Body's relaxing. Entire being just sinking deeper into that earth support. And as you breathe and relax, just let it go completely. No need to think about any parts of your body, just let them soften, growing heavier, sinking deeper into the earth. And as you breathe and relax, just allow your awareness to release your body completely. And as you do, other thoughts will come to you. Just let those thoughts drift away as well. No need to remember the past. No need to think about the future. No need to worry about anything. No focus on the body or any other thought. Just let the awareness drift. 
and just the awareness inward, releasing the body and the mind from your thoughts. And just fill your thoughts with peace, finding that peace deep within, focusing on the peace, which just being peace. If you have time to keep a little bit simple there, just take as much time as you have. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the mind, to the room, to your body. And as you begin breathing more deeply, begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you. Moving your head side to side, building your wrists and ankles, stretching and breathing. And of course, when you're ready for your yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, turn your heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your feet. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate it's yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, just bring your head and feet to the floor. If you're still in child pose, just roll it to the side and sit back up. Anyway, for whatever's ahead of you today, thanks for joining me. And take a little time for your breathing, alternate nostrils, pressing one nostril, exhaling and inhale, pressing the other, exhaling and inhale. And just keep alternating that, closing your eyes. And focusing on the earth, getting back into that meditative, peaceful state, closing on the seat. Thanks for joining me.